Hello and welcome to tutorial 173. If you're not a subscriber to this video channel then please uh, join and also please go to markplex.com and join our email list and then you'll uh, I will let you know when I create new tutorials and uh, new videos. So in this video uh, somebody asked me whether Markplex had a super trend indicator. So what we're going to do today is develop a simple super trend indicator. I've got that applied to the chart at the moment. So let's go to the program and I'll talk you through the program. So the first thing that we do is we calculate the average true range and we're doing that using x average and we're taking the x average that's the exponential moving average of the true range over ATR length. Now ATR length is an input can see here we've got it set to 9 by default in the program. Having done that we then create an upper value and a lower value. So the upper value is the ATR uh, x multiplied by ATR multiple which is another input and that is plus the AV high low. Now AV high low is an input to the program and you'll see that that's just set as high plus low times 0.5 in other words the average of high and low but what we do is we have something called direction and uh, let's just see if direction is equal to 1 then the sup trend value is equal to and let's just look at this in part so first of all we say is c less than the super trend the sup trend value one bar ago. So remember direction or direction one it means we're in an upward direction. So if the C the close is now below the super trend of the previous bar then what we're going to do is we're going to set this value the if value to the upper value. In other words the uh, have high low plus a multiple of the ATR multiple of the ATRX. If it is greater or equal to the sup trend the bar before then we leave the, the value as the lower value. In other words the have high low minus ATR multiple times by this uh, exponential moving average calculated true range. And then we take the maximum of the value that we've just worked out here and what the SOP trend was the previous bar. So it's probably best to look at this actually on the chart and uh, when we change direction. So let's look for example at the bottom here the uh, the or no let's look at this one because this were uh, direct, um, direction equals one. We go up 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 and then we get a situation where the uh, the close in other words this bar here is no longer greater than the SOP uh, trend the bar before. So the bar, let's just double check that. So SOP trend the uh, the bar before 468377 and the close of this bar 468766. So 77 and 75. So it's just 0 0.02 different and what we then do is we look at the uh, the values uh, of the the upper the max value and the the lower value in other words uh, these values say upper and lower and we say okay if c is less than the sub trend one bar ago we know it is now so we're now going to use the upper value if not we're going to continue using the lower and then we by using the upper value we say which is the maximum of the upper and sub trend one bar ago and uh, clearly in this case that the uh, the maximum is going to be this value here so we've changed the value of the uh, the sub sub trend and similarly if direction is not equal to one so it's equal to uh, minus one then we look at uh, the, uh, the the same thing here you're going to say if it's uh, less than if c is less than super trend one bar ago then we're going to choose the upper and uh, otherwise we're going to choose the lower. 
and then we take the min list. You might be wondering, well, what is this direction thing? Well, that's quite straightforward. That's based simply on the relation of the close to the subtrend. For example, you can see here that the close is greater than the subtrend. So we've got a plus one value. It then goes below and we've now got a minus one value. We also change the color when, uh, when the direction changes from one to minus one or minus one to one. Now that there, is, uh, there are a number of ways of creating a super trend indicator. And the, the thing that I've done slightly differently in mine is I've used an acceleration factor to move the, uh, the value of the subtrend slightly closer to price action as the bars go, go on. What we do when direction changes, we set the, uh, the AF, the acceleration factor down to zero, and then we increase the AF each bar after that up to a maximum AF and we're increasing it AF step by AF step. So if you look in the inputs, you'll see we've got an AF step and we've got a max AF. So what the uh, acceleration factor does is if we're in a uh, upward direct direction, D, DII is equal to one, then we do this mathematics. We take the subtrend from low, that gives you the, the value of the distance between the subtrend and the low value. So in other words, on the chart, if that's the low, it's this value between the bar and the line. Then we multiply that by one minus the acceleration factor. And then we uh, deduct that from the low value. So the, the uh, and then we do something similar for if the direction is not equal to one, we calculate the subtrend minus high. We multiply that by the same one minus acceleration factor, one minus AF, and then we add it to the high. So what is that doing? Well, actually what that is doing is just moving this line slightly closer to the price action. So hopefully it would be slightly more responsive. And then we're just uh, plotting the, uh, the sub trend. Now this does tend to work uh, reasonably well when the market is trending, as you can see some good examples here, but uh, does not work so well when we get into a situation where price starts to uh, chop and change. So we've got a move down, we get this little uh, area here where it thinks it's uh, back in an upward direction but it's not really. And then we get this down here when it thinks it's in a downward, but it's really in the start of an upward and so on. And then we get back to uh, a little trend and then we have some uh, thrashing around here again. So it's uh, great when the market is trending, but uh, is susceptible to, to uh, choppiness in the market as well. Okay, well, I hope you find this program useful. I will make it available for download at the website. And uh, otherwise, you're, you're very welcome to just uh, copy the, the code from this video and uh, try it out yourself. And uh, bear in mind that uh, anything you do based on this, you should do using your simulated account. And again, if you're not part of this uh, YouTube channel or Rumble channel or wherever you're watching this, then please join. And also go to Markplex, M -A -R -K -P -L -E -X com to join the email list. And I will let you know when I release new educational uh, materials and programs. Thank you very much. Thank you.